Hey guys, JD here with the Kawasaki Ultra 310 Jet Ski. And today, I'm going to show you how to retrofit your 2022 or 2023 model with the updated spring assembly for the KSRD actuator found on 2024 and later Ultra 310 and Ultra 160 Jet Skis. Alright, so these are all the parts you need to retrofit the spring assembly onto your KSRD bucket. Now here is that spring. You can see these are all genuine Kawasaki parts. And I got to tell you, they're all extremely high quality, made in Japan. Uh, pretty much everything's made in Japan except uh, these brackets here, made in USA, little stainless steel brackets. So, you know, that's good to see that they're still uh, making these parts all in the U.S. So, anyway, I will be showing you now how to install these. You have to have either a 2024 or newer ride plate or the Riva ride plate. So the first thing we're gonna do is pull the ride plate off of the ski. That's just the process to install this spring. So I removed the quick connect right there. You can see it in there. I removed that from the bucket and now we're gonna go ahead and drop the ride plate. All right, so I just pulled this ride plate off. And so this is the bracket. This is the first bracket we're gonna install. That's gonna go right there like that. That's part number 11058-1251 bracket made in USA and then what you need is these two little allens here these are parts 120R0510 made in Japan all right so now we're going to secure that bracket to the plate and you can apply some blue Loctite to these because you don't ever you won't ever need to take this off again here all right so now I've got blue Loctite on this unfortunately I can't tell you the torque values because they're not published so uh you know, just just uh, tightened it as much as, you know, tightened it hand tight, and I got a uh, blue Loctite on there. All right, so this is the spring. This is 92145-2321. Okay, so this is, we have this bracket here. This is part number 110581250. And you can see we've removed this collar. So I just want to show you how this is going to fit because Kawasaki does not actually show you in any literature or any, anywhere how this fits. So basically it's gonna go like that, right there. So you can see that this hole lines up right there. And then this blind nut is gonna go backwards like this. All right, so you can see that this is the hole where the factory connector came from and this little bracket's gonna go right like that. So we are gonna use Loctite on these components. All right, so here is our bracket. Again, it's going to be mounting right like this. So here we have our ball connector. Here we have the original factory washer. And then this is the Allen that goes on the back side here like that. So I did put some blue Loctite on this. Again, we don't want this. Whoops, almost forgot the whole reason. I... So then this goes through like this. And then we're going to tighten that in place. So with a six millimeter Allen, you're then going to tighten this up. All right, so, so far we've installed this bracket here, these two Allens, the spring, and this bracket here. So next we have this part, 92200 That's this little thick stainless washer. Okay, so we have that. Then we have this flanged bolt right here. That is part number 130R0630. And uh, then there's supposed to be a collar here. And that's a $25 collar. And when I ordered this, I did order the collar. All these parts showed up and no collar. And uh, I was told that it's basically back ordered and you can't get it. So the only place I found it was in Japan. I don't like waiting. So I've got a bunch of different collars and parts here, and I'm gonna to try to make my own. It's stupid to spend $25 for that stupid little collar, so I'm gonna, but basically this spring has to go basically in a nutshell. This bolt goes in here like this, okay? And then there's supposed to be a sleeve, a collar, that goes on it like this for the spring to attach to. And that's the part I'm missing here. So here's that Japanese-made flanged bolt. 
This is what, uh, normally you'd have a collar. There's a stainless collar from the factory that goes on this to attach the spring. So as of this video, I was not able to get that collar. I did order it. They never sent it. So I'm in a holding pattern on that. So what I did is there's these two washers here. I have two of them, okay? One of them I already had. And then just in my tool bag, I had this little, this is a stainless like insert collar. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do. Bolt, single washer, collar, washer. And then this is gonna install right like that. All right, so I got some blue Loctite. It kind of ripped a little. And then I'm gonna go ahead and screw this in. Okay, so then we're gonna tighten this. Looks like a 10 millimeter, but I'm just gonna use this wrench. Okay. All right, and then for our spring, I found, you know, it could be this way, but then this is a little too far outboard. So I wanted to do this with the hook this way, and then this facing upwards, just like that. And this spring might move on this a little because the factory collar has a notch, but this should be fine right like that. And you can see that it opens and closes just fine. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and put this back on the ski, and then we're gonna make some adjustments to the actual reverse bucket, uh, the cable and I'll show you how to do that next. All right, so now we have to adjust this cable. So there's two types of cables. There's a 10 millimeter and a 20 millimeter. In 2024, they updated this cable, changing the throw. Um, and of course I tried to get them to send me the updated one. And even with my extended warranty, uh, I was told that they wouldn't replace it and that I'm basically screwed and I have to pay for it on my own because there's nothing wrong with it. And I'm like, well, there's nothing wrong with it, but they superseded it, so I wanted the updated one anyway. What we're gonna do now is, and by the way, if you have a 2022, they updated the service manual in 2024. I also did ask Kawasaki if they could send me an updated section. They said that I had to purchase a brand new manual. So thank you for that, just taking my money. You're gonna have to make sure that this nut here is all the way back on this threaded shaft here, okay? So for example, you could see that there's some threads. You wanna tighten this nut all the way to the back till it stops, okay? Stops. Then here's our little quick connect fitting, okay? You wanna put a little bit of Loctite on this, kind of squeezed out a bit. And now we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and screw this on all the way all right perfect and then uh we're gonna reach around and we're just gonna make sure that that nut is cinched against this so before i could do anything else now that you've ensured that this is bottomed out on that cable we now need to reinstall the ride plate here all right so i just uh, reinstalled this quick connect when i removed it i had used maintenance mode to extend it so we're not done yet though we need to put this in maintenance mode and we need to ensure that this actuator, this 2022 actuator and cables are going to function properly with the spring assembly installed here. So uh, let's put it in maintenance mode and see what happens. All right. So for maintenance mode, insert the key, make sure that your safety lanyard is removed. Okay. So now we're going to go to settings. Settings, maintenance, maintenance mode on. And then if you hold in this mode button, it should run the initialize function. Uh, so far, so good. So now I'm gonna cycle this up and down and let's make sure that it works. All right, well, looks like it cycles pretty well. The new spring should improve the response time of the KSRD bucket. Some people complain that it's a little slow. So that spring should really improve 
the shifting speed. So now I'm going to grease up all these fittings and then we will be done with this KSRD retrofit. I didn't see any information about this on the internet. No one knew anything. So I did it myself as per usual. So I hope this video will be really helpful. So this has shown me that you can add the spring assembly to a 2022 KSRD with the original 20 millimeter length actuators and uh, it works. And it, the retrofit does not throw any errors so far. Obviously, I'll have to take this out and do some more testing on it. But it is nice to have that spring that holds this bucket in the upright position now. It should have been there from the beginning. Uh, at least they realized it and retrofitted these parts. All right, and let's complete this job by greasing everything up. Again, I have now retrofit the KSRD spring assembly onto my 2022 Ultra 310. This did not come with the spring that was added in 2024, but now I've added it to my ski to improve the efficiency and response time of the KSRD system. So I will again provide all those part numbers in the description and hope this helps. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and subscribe for more exclusive jet ski content only on JD's Waterworld.